Welcome back to my channel today. I am here with my friend Gianna. My first time here. Okay, yeah, this is her first time at Disney Springs. We worked together at Busch Gardens during Christmas Town, and now we're going to Disney Springs. She's got her USF mask on. Yes. I've got this one. Oh my gosh, I just ate it. I got this one from work, but I am not going to dock where so I work, so I turned it inside out. So yeah, now we're heading in. You have to do a mask and a temperature check. So that's what we're going to do now. And then since she's never been here, maybe we'll like get some snacks go eat dinner somewhere I don't know My but treat. oh no 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 but I'm definitely gonna show around we have our ears on because I know it's Disney Springs but like if you've never been like why not you know yeah. absolutely loving this new collection it's like a beachy collection and the visors are clear they have fanny packs this is a really cool watermelon fanny pack what is it a rainbow oh and they have two different styles that's really fun I wonder how do you inflate these oh you just blow into it okay oh now I'm messing up the display. Oopsies. And over there, you see the teacup? Oh my you can like take pictures in it. And then up there is the old Skyliner. She's so cute. Reminds me of Bush Gardens. Oh god, yeah, a little bit, right? Fine. <laughs> in the characters in flight. Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, I don't think I would only because every single time I come and I see it go up. <laughs> I know it doesn't move around that much, but it seems like it moves around so much. Crazy because I don't even have a fear of heights, but I feel like I would develop one as I like get into the air and then realize that I've spent like $30 to do that. I'd be like, suddenly I don't want to. Father's Day card and it says you're a terrific dad. I think it ran $13 and it pops up and there's a place that slides out and you can put a message. I absolutely love that because I didn't get him anything crazy for Father's Day, so I figured the card should probably be a little nicer than Hallmark. Well, I thought I'd show off our fits. Okay, what are you wearing? Um, shoes. Nike Karachis okay. that I customized. Oh, how'd you customize? With some bling. Okay, blinged out. And then, um, we have these shorts. They're from Bells, so I don't know the original brand, but they're $50, so. And then this <laughs> is from Shein. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. And then, three people. The necklace. New York. This is an evil eye. Uh -huh. And then we have the ears from you and a USF mask. Okay. Okay, do me. Okay, ready, ready, ready. Yeah. So my shoes are from American Eagle. My yeah. shirts are from I want to say Altered State. My top is from Free People, and my mask is from work. <laughs> I just am wearing it to get used to it. These are from Animal Kingdom. And what else do I have? Oh, I have these really fun Alex and Ani bracelets. I got a Christmas Mickey sweater, Minnie Mouse, and then a crown. Um, look at you go. <laughs> I think. So the balloon holders are not letting you hold the balloons right now, but you can ask to take a picture with the balloons as a backdrop. I'll insert a picture right here. But it's still really cool and I think it almost looks like a little bit better <laughs> than holding the balloons because when you hold the balloons, a lot of times there's the person holding it in the background and you have to like Photoshop them out. But having it as a backdrop is super, super cute. I recommend doing that if you guys are in Disney Springs. So Gianna has decided that she wants to eat a T-Rex. Oh, what'd you get? You got to show them what Ooh, you got. Yes. You got to do a little haul. I don't really edit my videos haul. because I like that old, like, 2000s feel. So you got to you gotta just okay. take it out. Just whip it out. Okay, stickers. We got our free stickers. Oh, my God. He gave me three. Oh, my God. And then I got my actual stickers that I really like. Look Which at this. Cute. And then look at this. Pura Vida, nice. So we're gonna eat at T Rex. I don't, you don't, you're not vegetarian, are you? No, but I do not eat anything besides chicken. So, so no red meat? No red meat. Okay, I eat everything basically. I try to eat healthy, but I eat everything. So you'll be able to see the menu from two different sides. Last time I was here, they were operating on a limited menu, so it'll be interesting to see if they're still doing that today. Also, last time I was here, I walked in and I do see people sitting out front, so I don't know if they're just a large party or what the deal is, but we'll see. Okay, so Gianna, now that you have your mask off and now that you're in T-Rex for the first time, can you tell me like, how you're feeling, what okay. you're going through? Okay, super excited. I finally can breathe, and it's really cool. We just finished the meteor shower. Should be back in 15. Um, <laughs> stay tuned for updates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so cute in here. Like, I, I can look around for hours and still find something. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, I wish the glasses weren't seven dollars and actually and came with one. the drink. Yeah. Because that should be a thing. Um, I'm super excited to be here and I can't wait for the 
soon. And another meteor shower. 15 minutes, I'm counting it. Yeah. Okay, so I have to say the masks are uncomfortable, but they're not unbearable. But however, we do live in Florida, so take that into account. I don't think that the mask is bad. However, if you are bringing your homemade mask and you have something that has like a really thick um, fabric, that might be uncomfortable. Gianna's mask, I want to say, is like double layered and she's not having a hard time. Let me see. Hers is double layered and she's not really having a hard time. Mine is single layered, but I don't find it uncomfortable, but just keep that in mind. If you're coming and you're not from Florida, maybe grab a single layer mask or grab one of those like one-time use masks. I think those might be easier to breathe in. So I ordered the strawberry Asaurus drink. I'm excited to see what it comes out looking like. And Gianna, what'd you get? I got a Dr. Pepper and then a Coke because I couldn't decide. <laughs> and they didn't come with the, drink, the cup, so we I was the like... Cup, but not for $7. Yeah, I was like... Yeah, no thanks. I wanted to add that they are operating on a limited menu, so if you have dietary restrictions, I would call beforehand. My friend Raquel is vegetarian and she came here with me last time and she found something that she really enjoyed. But if you have something, I don't know, gluten allergy, vegetarian, vegan, I think that you should really just call ahead and see what the menu is to make sure that you really want to eat here. Rainforest Cafe also is closed even though they are the same company. Okay, so we have been waiting for our food now for 45 minutes. And I'm definitely over it because we both got kids meals. We didn't even get like full adult meals. And we talked to, I don't know who, about our food. Um, but us, I mean, we walked right in and there was no, no wait. But for us to have waited 45 minutes for our food, I feel like it's ridiculous when they're kids meals. So definitely not coming back here. Okay, to make matters worse, we just found a hair in Gianna's food. I didn't even touch it. I literally just didn't even touch it. I just oh, looked at the plate. that's disgusting. I'm so disappointed, I'm so sorry. That is not my hair. I told her to put on her mask, but Gianna is drinking her drink and she refuses to. Some people, y'all. So, long story short, that meal basically sucked. It was absolutely terrible. So, we waited 45 minutes for food. That was bad. We get the food, it has a hair in it. Our waitress never came to check on us. And then, when it came time for the check, and when it came time to pay, she was in a rush to pick up the bill, and in a rush to pick up our credit cards. So, very long story short, I will not be eating there anymore, which really sucks because last time I ate there, we had a great time and like everything was yeah. cool, but this time it just was not it. It's eight o'clock here at Disney Springs. And I want to show you guys what I got. Can you hold the camera real quick? Yay, thank you. Um, so I got two pins. I always get Tiana stuff when I see it. I don't care how much it is because I support her. And if I don't buy her stuff, they won't keep making it. I fully, I, I believe that. If you're a Tiana fan, you know what I'm talking about. So. I got this Port Orleans Riverside pin. I've never stayed there. Unimportant to me. I saw Tiana, I like it, I get it. $10. And then this one of her looking very concerned. It's so cute though. She looks like innocent and worried and it's just so adorable. And that was also $10. So that's my little pin haul. I do have some other Tiana stuff. Thank you, Gianna. I do have some other Tiana stuff that I got. I got a pin around Mardi Gras time. That's a spinner and it has like Dr. Facilia on one side. And then I got another pin and it, oh, she forgot her drink. <laughs> and then I got another pin that has, um, I want to say Naveen on one side and then Dr. Facilia on the other side or Mama Odie, somebody like that. I cannot remember for the life of me. Um, glad you got your drink. Okay, so onward. Enjoying the sunset, Gianna. <laughs> She's taking the selfies. I absolutely love, I would love to eat here for my birthday or get engaged to their future husband if you're watching this. Um, we're just loving the sunset. I have a picture of my mom and my grandma right here that I will just hold close to me forever. It is so pretty. Insert and the sun right is setting. <laughs> insert it? Okay, if I can find it, I'll insert it. But yeah, I just absolutely love it. This is my favorite part of Disney Springs is probably like this little area right here. Oh my the sunset. god, the little car. You see the boat? Okay, I'm going to try to zoom in if I can. You can see the car, Amphibi car, I think is what it's called, and it's the car that goes in the water, which is super, super cool. I think it's like 75 bucks an for like a ride, not an hour. I'm messing up, sorry guys. Um, it's like 75 bucks for a ride, and I don't really think that's worth it, but uh, it's super cute though. I guess you do it once, say you did it, never do it again. <laughs> We are leaving Disney Springs to head back home. What do you think? What are your, what is I your had a good view? time. I wish that things were open up later, but overall, I had a fun time. It was yeah. a good first experience. I feel like I got to take it all in without the crowds and the Rush. Yes. <laughs> like, had it been everything been open, it uh, would have been like a lot I more people. Yeah, and... I feel like I would have been like all over the place just trying to see everything. Right. Yeah, right. Good time. Good time. Besides the food, that's besides the, besides the food. That experience I, I found could some have good been stickers. So yeah, no, that's good. And I got some good Tiana pins 
got my dad's father's day card i feel like i killed two birds with one stone so i'm very happy now we're heading home 